Today is June 28, 2021. My subject is the truth about the border. Say what you want about memes and cliches, but they do make you think. Yesterday, a meme was posted that said, Whenever there's a big story in the media, look for the story they're trying to distract you from. Or, when everyone else is looking up, you look down. So I started thinking, what is today's big story that nobody is talking about? I think I know. While liberals are holier than thou about slaves in our country's history, what nobody talks about is the slave trade alive and well and thriving in the world today, and yes, in the United States. The pure evils of trafficking and the sex trade of children. Do you ever look at the border issue and ask who is benefiting? I do. So it took me less than two minutes to find shocking facts and numbers that I will share here. From a website called The World's Children, www.worldschildren.org slash child slash trafficking statistics, I learned. 27% of trafficking victims are children. Hmm, think about all the unaccompanied minors at our border. The majority of human trafficking victims are involved in forced labor. Labor trafficking involves the use of fraud, coercion, or force in order to get victims to provide labor services. More than two-thirds of trafficking victims fall into this category, including more than 10 million adults and nearly 4 million children. The International Labor Organization reports that labor generated $150 billion in illegal profits per year. There's your motive, people. Specifically, $51.8 billion in USD forced labor profits from the Asia-Pacific region, including India. Children are four times more likely to be trafficked for labor rather than sex. Children who are trafficked for labor purposes might be removed from their families and forced to perform domestic household services or work in factories or agriculture. Though millions of children are trafficked, there is a much larger number of children involved in child labor not considered trafficking. There are an estimated 168 million child laborers around the world, with around half of them participating in what is known as hazardous work, work that endangers the child physically, emotionally, or social well-being. 66% of child trafficking victims are girls, according to Save the Children 2020. Often girls around the world are forced to drop out of school or are denied access to income-generating opportunities. The resulting social exclusion can trap girls in a cycle of extreme poverty as well as increased vulnerability to trafficking and exploitation according to Save the Children 2020. The lack of education ultimately limits the lifetime earning potential for girls, thus perpetrating the cycle of poverty of their own children. The Bureau of International Labor Affairs maintains a list of goods and services likely produced by child labor in violation of international standards. This list is primarily published to increase public awareness and to encourage concerned consumers to make efforts to learn more about the supply chain and to use their purchasing power to send a message to corporations that child labor and forced labor is not condoned. So there you have it, good people. While you're being shamed for God making you white, While you are shamed for slavery of the past, right in front of your eyes, the virtue of signaling woke people are condoning slavery here and around the world. I challenge the news media to shine light on this fact. I challenge women's group to shine light on this fact. And I challenge the woke to wake the hell up.